Hi everyone, it's Cheryl from Deep Creek Vintage in Fredericksburg, Virginia. We're the area's newest retailer for Paint Couture paints and Paint Couture collection, the accessory products uh, for Paint Couture. I wanted to take you with me as I explore some of these products and um, this will kind of act as a tutorial for you. I wanted you to see, first of all, I'm using uh, Lake Norman Signature Blue today. It's a bright, vibrant blue. I think it'll be a great undercoat for some of the other products that I'll be showing you uh, further on in the series. First, I wanted to um, show you that I picked up this really great little sideboard, antique sideboard. It was brought in by one of the vendors in our shop, and the minute that I saw it, I started thinking about it as a great showcase for some of these products um, and what I wanted to do with it. So, you know, this is just a, I don't want to say just because it's got really great lines, but it's a antique sideboard. It had a lot, it has a lot of crazing. I don't know if you know what crazing is, but it's kind of blemishes in the finish that happens over years, hot and cold weather, being out in the barn. This piece was definitely out in the barn and it has some, um, great little character where it was fixed and whatnot on the farm so we're going to keep those I like that kind of stuff the next piece I wanted to show you is a reproduction ceiling tin it is just a bare silver metal probably has all kinds of stuff on it that I didn't get off I did wash it down with thread cutter and Windex but it still is um, flaking a little bit. I don't mind that. I was kind of hoping it would do that so that I could play with it and see if we can't get it looking nice and old and um, able to display it. Maybe we'll put it on something. Next I wanted to show you we have a planter. This planter is a cement, probably some kind of a composite into mixed into the cement because uh, it doesn't quite feel that rough, but it's very smooth, has a nice relief on it. I used almost a dry brush on it, so it didn't take much paint at all. The piece behind that one is a relief. It's made out of some kind of plastic composite, probably from the 70s or 80s. You'll probably see them around, but that's going to be a lot of fun to work with. So all of these pieces, one coat coverage, I'm really excited about it. And one eight ounce jar. Actually, the jar is not even empty. And we get to do something with the jar afterwards too because we're not gonna throw that away. So come along with me on my adventure. We have the base coat, Lake Norman Signature Blue, a nice bright blue. We'll be able to see what we're gonna do with it, playing with all of the other accompanying products. And there's my new zebra fan brush that I painted all of these products with. You have to get one of these. It's really great. Okay, see you soon. Stay tuned. Bye.